All right, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to TGTV. So, uh, the beginning of this game got cut off a little bit with my uh, Elgato. I'm not really sure what happened, but anyway, we're gonna get into it on this first play right here. So we're taking on the Bulls, and we just had such an insane game. You guys see, we're down a lot right here. We're gonna start getting on a run right there. You can see with the pull-up jumper bringing us within six, and now down by four only. I'm gonna get this huge play right here. And Joe Kim Noah didn't even see that coming. Oh my God. And then trying to play some defense right there. We're going to get the steal. Bringing it up to me. And Tyson Chandler with a nice pass. And we get a nice dunk right there. Tying up the game at 28. And then into the second quarter. The steal off Lou Aldang over to Stoudemire. He's going to toss it up to me. And I'm going to get myself a nice and one right there. You can't guard me, man. Oh, my God. You just cannot guard me in this game. He just absolutely goes off the Cobra. And then on defense right here, I'm going to get another steal. And obviously, you're going to see another dunk. A huge double clutch reverse right there. We got ourselves a five-point lead. And this lead is just going to keep on growing. We got the shot clock wind down inside to Amare. And Amare is going to hit the shot right there with the clock as far down as it possibly could be. And we got ourselves nine minutes left. And then another huge dunk right there. Nice contact dunk. Nice poster. And the Cobra going off right there. I'm waving goodbye. They know what's up over there. Right there. J uh, sorry, Jermaine O'Neal hitting the nice acrobat reverse layup. And he's got that one to go. And now we've got a huge lead right here. And we're going to get another rebound. Get another chance to improve this lead. Maybe make it a double digit lead. And I got the ball going. And I'm going to have an insane and one. It really like the play itself wasn't insane. But the fact that I was able to drive through three people for that layup was pretty insane in my opinion. I'm going to kick out right here. Tim Hardaway Jr. And he's got that shot right there. We are up by 14. This lead is just growing and growing. I got the ball right here. But I see Jermaine O'Neal. And he's inside. And I got that easy dish. We take the 14-point lead, and then Tim Hardaway Jr. driving. I decided to pop this three. I got that right in, baby. We got the 19-point lead, and we're just going to keep growing this lead right here. Bargnani over to me. I don't know who to give it to. I'm trying to get that screen from Melo. I might as well just pop that. Two guys in my face. I'm going to drain that. We got ourselves just a lead that keeps on growing. Still, Luol Deng just backing up on me, and he doesn't even realize I'm wide open. And then another big shot right here. They think I'm going to go for the three, but I'm taking the dunk instead. And oh my god. See, that's the thing when you take a lot of threes, and you take a lot of inside shots so that you can spread the floor, and they won't be just covering you on the perimeter or just covering you inside. That's what I tried to do this game, just try to get my scores from all around. Plus, I want to have a well-rounded scoring game. Try to test out all my aspects of uh, offense. And then right here, throwing up the lob to Mello off the steal. And Mello giving me my ninth assist of the game. We're on a huge run at this point. And this run will just keep gone going. Amare Stoudemire inside for the dunk. And then right here again, Amare inside. He just cannot be stopped in there. And this lead up to a 30-point lead here in the third quarter. Oh, my Lord. Nice screen from Mello inside. Jermaine O'Neal. Jermaine O'Neal gets work done in this my career. I swear to God. He's so sick. And then right there, I got that shot right there to go. And the lead just keeps on growing. Now, one of my craziest, craziest plays right here. Oh, my God. Holy Lord. I'm going to fade right in here. You guys are going to get to see this again in all the different angles you want. Just look at J.R. Smith. 360. Catching it with one hand. Throwing it down. Unreal alley-oop right there. And then Jermaine O'Neal inside with a nice basket. And at this point, this game is wrapped up. We're in the third quarter. Honestly, in the second quarter, this game is all wrapped up. They had zero chance to come back. I'm running around trying to get that screen. Then Amare. Oh, Lord. Throwing it down as hard as he can. And then Jermaine driving. And you know I got him right there. Fourth quarter still racking up that assist count. You can see I got 61 points, 19 assists. Make that 20 assists. Getting another 20-point game to add to my resume. I mean, not 20-point game, 20-assist game. Now I got the ball right here. 2 minutes, 42 seconds left. And they're just giving Jermaine the shot. They've just given up on this game. Somehow they're letting us take a 30-point lead. And now making a 30-point lead again. 140 to 110. And that's the game. Obviously, they didn't make a comeback. So, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. We've just been on such a run lately. And uh, this has been great. It's been really fun to make these videos, just watching this all unfold. This team really starting to click now. And uh, hopefully, we start to see some more progression. All right, guys. Peace. I'm out. It was a huge game for you in terms of assists. That was an incredible passing display. My question is this. Is this the kind of game that you strive for, or did it just happen? Well, I always strive to have a great game no matter what. And I don't try and go out of my way to get assists or anything, because I know that isn't how you play the game properly. 
Look, I'm not going to name names, but I get the feeling that there are a few guys in the league that worry more about their stats than actually playing good basketball. And it shows up in their play. But whatever, man, I'm getting off topic. Really, it just felt good to get the win. So let's go with that and move on.